This video is for three-shaped trios, two dental system, single crown design, and monobuild. First, you need to make your own three-shaped communicate account first. Once you have it, your support team will help integrate into your trios and also dental system. Once you send your trios scan file to your dental system, always scan file coming into 3Shape Communicate Inbox first. What we need, just to right click and to accept. Once we accept the file, you can just hit OK and the file will transfer into your orders. Now the case file is in the orders, not in 3 Shape Communicate Inbox anymore. Before we just start to get into design, for making sure, please click Modify and we want to double check and set our older setup. Click the crown to number. Make sure the material of the crown and the material for your 3D print model. If need, go to plus change your printer setup. Also, if need, click plus to change your crown material. Once it's good, click OK. Do right click, click design, and we'll do crown design first. Once we get into design, we always start with the prepare step first. The first thing, zoom out a little bit and make sure the occlusion plane is matched well to our scan. Doesn't need to be super exactly same match, but this plane will help to use virtual articulator and also the model base uh, in the model builder too. Okay. Once it's good, we can go next. For trimming upper and lower jaw, if you trim well, if the doctor scan and trim well in the trio side, we don't really need to. But if need, we can use the line mode we can click in first. Meet the first dot to trimming out. Again, this trimming job you can do if needed. Let me get into lower job trim. In the lower job, let me try to use Second one, the brush type. Let me click the brush. We can paint with a green color where we want to keep. Like this. Okay. And then the last one, plain trimming. We can change the angle of the scan and then draw the line with left click. We can cut it down or cut it up like this. And also can switch that the direction too. Let me 
reset it. Okay. It was a trimming for skin. Let me click next. Next step, scuffed upper and lower jaw. Mostly we don't really need to use this function, but if really need, we can use some wax knife tool and also two removable tools to sculpt our skin. I will change color to monochrome. We have a button on the right bottom. And let me show you. We have add and remove and smoothing tool in our wax knife. We can use our wax knife, sculpt some our skin if needed. Let me undo it. We can remove image of the skin if needed. And also we can make smoothing down too, like this. Okay. If your skin quality and condition is good, no need to do anything on here. And also for tooth removal, tooth extraction function we have here. Once you click and make sure we have a check mark or not on auto tooth detection and apply automatically. If you want to do fully automate, check both and go to occlusive view and click center of the tooth. Once you click it, automatically detect and remove. Let me undo it. Okay. So sculpting upper and lower jaw, again, you want to do, you really need to do. Okay. Let me click next. Lower jaw, we have the same tool, same function. Click next one more time to get into next step, the name of segmentation. Under the segmentation, we want to draw with a red line for tooth segmentation line. This is not for restoration margin line. Again, this is not for restoration margin line. Okay. So first of all, we can draw the line of course, we can following the margin line is fine, okay? But if you have inlay, only, veneer, if you have like that restoration, you can draw the line, follow the CJ line first, and then we will draw the crown margin line later, okay? In here. So in this page, open up. The initialize parameters. We have several function to detect the margin automatically. Okay, and also if you don't like your margin, you can clear out and reload it too. Of course, we can modify it like this. So in segmentation page, system will do segmentate out of our practice first. And we can draw the margin later for rear crown. Okay. That's cool. If the super margin only, please draw the margin line on CJ line. If just normal, interproximal and infra margin just draw this segmentation line on crown margin is fine let me show you later what this meaning is i just click next one more time now we can see some green dots on margins and also if you see 
my mouse cursor on right top. I can turn off and on the arch skin now. So now we have segmented of the tooth here. Okay, the reason why we draw the line for segmentation. Dental system create and detect the insertion path automatically with minimal undercut. Mostly for single case, we don't need to change the set up, uh, setting of the insertion direction. If you want to change, we can use our view direction setup, which is we can tilt direction like this and simply click set button on your left. Direction automatically change. The undercut area will be changed. Let me click optimize to go back to the first. Okay. For simple change, also we have some arrows to change insertion paths. Again, this tool usually no need to use. We're good in the directions. Please click next. We are in interfaces and it's saying margin line again and different color. Now we have a green color. Again, if we draw the line well on margin uh, in the segmentation page, you don't need to change. But for minor adjustment, we can turn arch off and we can modify a little bit. And then for margin drawing work, monochrome is a little easier than color sometimes. But if you need to double check with the color, of course you can turn on and off your color function. Looks good. Let me go next page. We are in diner faces. Die interface is usually preset when we set it up the older form. But if we made a mistake or if you want to change your material, we can change it later. And let me click preview. The interface meaning is system to apply some cement space between scan to crown. We have a thin layer here, right on top of the Praptus, and cr crown design is going to be created on top of here. Okay. Let's go next. When we are in anatomy design, software do put our library crown on top of our scan okay let me change that color first we have several different tools to change the color on the right bottom here turn on and off the color and the texture color for tooth library and also gray or beige color of the scan. It's very up to you to choose your color. On our left side, Smile Library, Sculpt, and Smart Tools and Connection Margin, we have many tools on our left. All the tools on the left, it can be applied to crown directly and all the button on our right, these are all for additional few buttons. Smile library first. 
if we click it, we can see many different type of the tools. Choose whatever you feel comfortable, whatever you feel better to match with your neighbor teeth. We can change to simple one touch click. Once you choose one, it's going to be changed automatically. And software put the margin connection automatically always. But if you don't like it, you can just click undo one time. And now your crown is free to move. Let me explain the design tool one by one very quickly. Please practice yourself. The first one, ARC transformation. Once I get to mouse close up on here, we have red dot and you can play with your scrolling up and down to rotate your crown. And once you left click this button, the button shape and color change the green cube here. Once you scroll up or down, your crown size is changed. Let me match the size. When you click with your left click on the surface of the crown, you can grab it and you can move up and down and left to right. Let me get the second button. The name is individual transformation. We have the same tool, red and green, but this tool now is work separately, mesial only, buckle only, and sizing to the buckle only, and lingual only. The first thing always make sure the crown sizing, positioning, and angle it. Second tool, the name is individual morphing. The morphing tool, it feels like tweezer. We can grab it, some surface, and then we can move it out and in and play with it. It's a very sensitive tool. So first time is a little bit hard to control it. But once you're done with it, it's going to be best to tool with your design. And then tool size can be changed. More smaller. And bigger. And also, if you press shift on your keyboard and scroll down, the tool size can be changed as a shortcut button. And then when you use your morphing tool, let me get close up. Press control. You can see black arrow show up. And then this tool locked the direction of the, uh, the work. So press control and left click and move your mouse up and down you can see the surface just bump up or down with the same direction of the black arrow okay. next one wax knife we already saw in the sculpting we have add, minus, and smooth. Okay.
Next one, attachment. We have a plain cut. These two is not really good for crown. So you don't really have to worry about it. But with a plain cut, sometimes it will be helpful. Let me show you very quickly. Click the plain cut and click and click on the in the air with your left click and hold it, drag it down and release. System gonna cut as a plane on your crown. Whenever we have a multiple, multiple crown or abutment, it's gonna be helpful. So these are all basic tool for crown design. Others are very optional, okay? So once we have a good position of the crown and good size of the crown, we wanna do connect the margin, click connect the margin and hit apply. Software, connect the margin to the, uh, to the scan, okay? So now we have crown interface here and margin line there too. Once we have a margin connection, usually I use my wax knife smoothing tool to smoothing down around the margin area. Like this. Now you can see on your right, we have digital impression for working side, antagonist side, turn on and off, and crown item on and off. Even we have shortcut on keyboard too. On your keyboard, A is antagonist S is a working arch okay. and then when we design the crown we want to make sure good contact with the neighbors and occluder right so once we just do design let me turn on the antagonist. We can see the crown is too high and also the contact is overt. Okay. So when we do the design, we can turn on the collision line button on here. So we know where is collide to the opposing and also how much we have contact with the neighbors. So once it's good, we have smart tool. Okay, let me go back to the smart tool on the left. Click it. We have automation of the controlling contacts. The first thing, desired distance to antagonist. And the second one is desired distance to neighbors. These are distance antagonists. Usually we can set about 0.2 millimeter. Okay. Once you hit apply, occlusion goes down. And then for neighbor contact, usually we can set minus number, minus 0 0.02 or three. The number can be changed okay this is just for the common number 0.24 occluder antagonist 0 0.02 minus minus 0 0.02 or 3 for neighbor contact so we have 20 micron overlap on our crown contacts once you cut your neighbor if you see some concavity or a little some uglier, you can use your wax knife, smoothing tool, and smoothing out, and smoothing out. And we can add a little bit more. Okay, and cut one more time.
That was good. Crown design. It will take time to learn all the tools and step by step. But once you learn it, it's going to be easier and easier. Once it's good with our crown design, we are ready to go to model build. But on your all right side, we have some more buttons are here. We will have some another video for explaining for these buttons. Please watch the 3 d by kit video too. Okay. Let me go to the next step. And if we have some spot which has some issue, system always warning us. If you see here, number three has 0 0.04 millimeter thinner than 0 0.6, which means 0.54. So 56, I'm sorry. So it should be okay to just keep it. But if you say yes or yes to all software to add, some uh, material to keep the minimal thickness so it's a very convenient tool okay let me click yes and design is done and we are ready to get into model build